clearly what the Russians have been doing, pushing very hard toward Pokrovsk down here, down in the south there. The idea of Russia breaking up into smaller independent states is a thought-provoking yet highly speculative scenario. The Russian Federation, often simply referred to as Russia, is a vast country that encompasses a multitude of ethnic groups, languages, and cultures. It is officially divided into various republics, territories, autonomous zones, and federal cities. Let's explore the possibility of Russia breaking up, focusing on the territorial organization, cultural diversity, and potential new states that could emerge. Territorial Organization of Russia Russia is territorially organized into 85 federal subjects, which include 46 oblasts, 21 republics, 9 Kreis, 4 autonomous okrugs, and 2 federal cities. The oblasts are the primary regions or provinces of Russia, and are governed by a local legislature and a governor. Notably, the Jewish Autonomous Oblast is one of these, although only about 1% of its population is Jewish. The republics are autonomous in name and have their own constitution, language, anthem, and legislature. Each republic generally represents a specific ethnic minority. Kreis are legally identical to oblasts, but have a different name due to historical reasons. They vary significantly based on their geographical location. Autonomous okrugs are districts with substantial ethnic minorities and have a degree of autonomy. The federal cities, Moscow and St. Petersburg, function as their own regions and are of significant political and economic importance. Cultural and ethnic diversity. One of the most compelling reasons for considering the breakup of Russia lies in its cultural and ethnic diversity. The Russian Federation is home to numerous ethnic groups, each with distinct cultural identities. For instance, the Caucasus region includes republics such as Chechnya, Dagestan, and Kalmykia. Kalmykia, for example, is predominantly Buddhist and home to the Mongol Kalmyk people. The Ural region includes Bashkortostan, home to the Bashkir people, and Chuvashia, home to the Chuvash people, a Turkic ethnic group. In the northern part of Russia, Karelia is located near Finland and has a significant Karelian population, while Komi is home to the Komi people. In Central Asia, republics such as Kakassia, Altai, and Tuva showcase cultural distinctions. Tuva was a separate country from 1921 to 1944. In Siberia, Sakha is the largest country subdivision in the world, with the native Sakha people making up 81% of the population. Economic and infrastructural considerations. The economic viability of potential breakaway states is a critical factor. Many regions within Russia are economically underdeveloped and lack infrastructure. For instance, the disparity in infrastructure can be seen in the comparison between Finland and Karelia. While Finland boasts well-developed infrastructure, Karelia, just across the border, lacks similar development. Population distribution is another significant issue. Most of Russia's population is concentrated in the western part of the country and along the southern borders. Siberia and the far eastern regions are sparsely populated, which could pose challenges for any potential new states in these areas. The lack of infrastructure in much of the Russian territory particularly in regions governed by autonomous areas, suggests that some regions might consider independence if the central government does not support them adequately. Potential new countries. If Russia were to break up, several new countries could emerge, particularly from the republics and autonomous okrugs. The Caucasus region could see the emergence of new countries like Chechnya, Dagestan, and Kalmykia, each with its unique cultural identity. Chechnya, known for its tumultuous history and strong ethnic identity, could become a separate nation. Kalmykia, home to the Mongol Kalmyk people, and the only region in Europe where Buddhism is the predominant religion, could also claim independence. Dagestan, with over 30 ethnic groups, each speaking a different language, could establish itself as a multi-ethnic country. In the Ural region, republics like Bashkortostan, Tatarstan, and Chuvashia could become independent states. Bashkortostan, with a population of 4 million people, is the most populated republic and has a rich cultural heritage. Tatarstan, another significant republic, is known for its economic development and strong Tatar identity. Chuvashia, home to the Chuvash people, a Turkic ethnic group, could also emerge as an independent state, preserving its unique cultural and linguistic heritage. 
northern Russia might see Karelia and Komi forming new nations, each with strong cultural ties to their respective ethnic groups. Karelia, located near Finland, has a significant Karelian population and shares cultural similarities with its Finnish neighbors. Komi, home to the Komi people, has its own language and cultural traditions that distinguish it from the rest of Russia. In Central Asia, republics like Kakassia, Altai, and Tuva could gain independence, forming culturally distinct states. Kakassia, with its rich history and unique cultural practices, could become an independent nation. Altai, with its stunning landscapes and indigenous Altai people, could also claim independence. Tuva, known for its Tuvan throat singing or Kume, was an independent country from 1921 to 1944 and could reclaim its independence, preserving its distinct cultural heritage. Saka in Siberia, with its significant Saka population, could become an independent nation. Saka, the largest country, subdivision in the world, is known for its extremely cold climate and is home to the coldest inhabited place on Earth, Oymyakon. The existence of autonomous Okrugs like Chukotka, home to only 50,000 people, and Yamalo Nenets, where Russians are only 42% of the population, also suggests potential new countries. Chukotka, with its indigenous Chukchi people, could establish itself as a separate entity. Yamalo Nenets, rich in natural resources and culturally distinct, could also pursue independence. Interesting cultural facts. Kalmykia is the only region in Europe where Buddhism is the predominant religion. This unique cultural aspect sets it apart from the predominantly Christian Orthodox regions of Russia. The Kalmyk people, who migrated from Mongolia in the 17th century, have preserved their Buddhist traditions, making Kalmykia a cultural oasis in Europe. Tuva is known for Tuvan throat singing, also known as Kyumi, a unique cultural practice that has gained international recognition. This remarkable form of singing, where one person produces multiple pitches simultaneously, is deeply rooted in Tuvan culture and spirituality. Throat singing is often performed to mimic the sounds of nature, reflecting Tuva's deep connection to its natural environment. Saka, Yakutia, is famous for its extreme cold climate and is home to the coldest inhabited place on Earth, Oymyakon. The Saka people have adapted to the harsh climate and developed unique cultural practices to survive in such extreme conditions. The region's traditional festivals such as Isyak celebrate the arrival of summer and are marked by traditional dances, songs and rituals that reflect the resilience and spirit of the Saka people. The cultural diversity within these regions highlights the rich tapestry of ethnicities, languages and traditions that make up the Russian Federation. Despite the dominance of the Russian language, many regions have their local languages that are spoken more frequently in daily life, contributing to the cultural mosaic. For example, in the Republic of Buryatia, the Buryat language is widely spoken alongside Russian, preserving the region's unique cultural identity. In the Ural region, the Bashkir people of Bashkortostan have their own language, music, and dance traditions that are distinct from Russian culture. The Chuvash people in Chuvashia speak the Chuvash language, which belongs to the Turkic language family, and have preserved their traditional crafts, such as embroidery and wood carving. In the Caucasus, the diverse ethnic groups of Dagestan each have their own languages, including Avar, Dargan, and Lesgian, and maintain distinct cultural practices, such as traditional wrestling and folk music. Chechnya, with its strong sense of identity, has preserved its traditional dance forms, such as the Lezginka, and maintains a rich oral tradition of epic poetry. The indigenous peoples of the autonomous Okrugs, such as the Nenets, Chukchi, and Kanti, have unique cultural practices that are closely tied to their environment. The Nenets, for example, are reindeer herders and have developed a nomadic lifestyle that revolves around the migration patterns of their herds. The Chukchi people, living in one of the harshest climates on Earth, have a rich tradition of storytelling and shamanistic practices. Challenges and considerations. The breakup of Russia, while theoretically possible, would face numerous challenges. Economic viability is a significant concern, as many potential new states may not be economically self-sufficient and could struggle without support from larger, more developed neighbors. Political stability is another critical issue. The transition to independence could lead to political instability and conflicts, especially in regions with existing ethnic tensions. 
The international community's response to such a breakup would be crucial. Recognition of new states and the establishment of diplomatic relations would be complex processes. Many of these regions lack the infrastructure and economic development necessary for independent statehood. The sparsely populated areas in Siberia and the Far East would face significant challenges in maintaining political and economic stability. The hypothetical scenario of Russia breaking up into smaller, independent states is an intriguing thought experiment that highlights the country's cultural and ethnic diversity. While the breakup is highly unlikely, understanding the territorial organization and cultural differences within Russia provides valuable insights into the complexities of the nation. The potential emergence of new states, each with its unique identity, underscores the rich tapestry of cultures that make up the Russian Federation. However, the economic, political, and infrastructural challenges such a breakup would entail suggest that the current territorial integrity of Russia is likely to remain unchanged.